Hello everybody, Michael Spaghetti here, so today I'll be playing Elden Ring and I've been waiting to play this game for so long. Since I do enjoy uh, Soul, pretty much Souls games, which you know they're pretty hard. But this one, I know it's gonna be very good, just by the looks of it. So first of all, I do have to put it in a window just to make sure everything works here fine. And also, play online, I know it's gonna be pretty tough when there's so many people online getting raided or like pretty much, pretty much invaded right in the beginning of the game will be pretty hard, but it's an, it's pretty much unavoidable. That's experience with uh, Dark Souls, but I played that game. It happens quite often, it's always like that in the beginning. Everything is at max, uh, max settings here, as you can see. I'm gonna be dead or dying many times in this game. Better do it in the highest quality possible. But I feel like I should be able to do pretty well since I did play Dark Souls before. This game should not be that much different. And let's get going. Okay, so we have just immediately to the uh, selection screen. No story from the looks of it, unlike the Dark Souls games that I actually usually play before. There's Vega Bond, Warrior, Hero, Bandit, that sounds like a uh, uh, thief, but these those people are usually not as good. I can already tell you these have high luck, just by based on what, how they play. Luck in a Souls game is probably the thing you, sh you should have probably avoid at all costs. Astrologer. Seems like they're like semi uh characters from like mages. Prophet, Samurai, Prisoner, Confessor. On oh, this one, this one is pretty much if you only want to have the most hardest challenge in Dark Souls or pretty much Souls games. I would choose this one, but I would probably not recommend it to people that just started a game before and obviously we just go back to here so i did i feel like vagabond is similar to close the closest one to knight although i feel like i should probably play either warrior or hero because i like the the uh, hard hitting classes like those ones always i choose those ones first let's go with uh type a or b doesn't even tell me like what size they are Guessing, uh, oh, beast probably female, so there is difference here. And just immediately, I'm not gonna do that. Um, the quality is definitely far better. You can definitely see here the skin, like everything looks way better than the previous games, as intended. It is a newer game. For the name, I'm just gonna call it Plot Armor, because I will need to have that Plot Armor. In this game mode, I'm not sure how hard it is. I'm not sure how hard this game is in general, but I know I can do it. You can make. That's so weird. You can make a transgender in this game. That's one of the weirdest things I've seen so far. Sure, and aged. I'm gonna keep him young. Keepsake. So this is pretty much what you gain in the beginning of the game. Let's see what you have here. A medallion. So pretty much same to the ring that increases your health. Probably I would recommend that immediately, but I have to see everything else here. The goal of grace. Okay, so pretty much gaining many runes or souls based on the game. A lot of things that are very similar to the, the uh, Souls games, like at least Dark Souls. So all of these are pretty much... Wait, a Stone Sword key? Only, be, only use once. If you cannot use it more than once, not that good. Yeah, so I'm gonna choose... This one, increasing maximum HP permanently is probably the best choice. Most of the stuff here seems to be just like a one-time thing. So it's pretty much better just to use this. 
and detailed appearance. I feel like I should just go straight into the game. Like, appearance is good and all, but if I focus more on the gameplay than the actual character. Maybe I can just change your voice. Like, let's see what we have here. And I'll test it. Not much difference, but... I guess number one is actually fine still. Alter body. I do like them to make them as muscular as possible. Just because I feel like... Why not? You're making... I'm making a physical build. I'm, I want to make him as strong as possible. Physically poss possible, so it makes sense. For chests... I feel like I will probably make him as bulky as possible as well. This is what I did in the Dark Souls game before as well. If you guys are wondering, I did play Dark Souls 3 before, which is why I'm always referring to that. It's very similar. A lot of as aspects are very similar in this one. So let's move on. The chest. Bad share. I feel like I'm not going to make him hairy, but... Let's see what else I can do here. I'm going to be making... I guess that's okay. Okay. Just gonna make him as bulky as possible, because why not? Body hair. So body hair, I guess it makes him makes the character look more manly. You know what? I'll just give him body hair. Why not? And for his head, I have to see how Okay, so it goes up to Right here. So this is pretty much a structure I would do. And match hair. You can make very weird uh, characters. I'm sure you can make them multicolor. Like this one right here. Looks like he has like snow on his, uh, on his body. To make him like a frost giant. And temporary colors. Uh, I think I'm just going to stay with the original black or whatever he has right now. And let's go back and see what else he has here. I think I'm just gonna be going straight into the game. Might make my own actual character in the future, but this time, let's go and jump right into the game. Go back. I think that's everything. So let's see what his level is. Level 7. Vigor is 14. That means he has... I'm not sure if he's the highest in health, but that's pretty high still. Mind, 9. Makes sense. Endurance, 12. So he does... He can endure quite a, a bit. Strength, 16. I feel like he is probably the strongest class in the game. Starting class, at least. Dexterity, 9. Intelligence, 7. That makes sense. I mean, intelligence you don't really need. Unless if you want to make a flexible build, but you don't really need it. Faith, 8. And Arcane, 11. All these three here, I would say they're pretty much related to a wizard or pretty much anything that's spell-based. Although mine, I still have to make sure what that is. But everything else, not that important to a uh, physical build. So I'm just going to be jumping right into this game. And let's see how it is. I'm really excited. I'm excited for this game. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. Yeah, into a cutscene. And it reminds me of Lord of the Rings. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal. 
Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Maricus offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. Now, ye tarnished, ye dead. Gonna bring up the volume here. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Or alone, chieftain of the badlands. It's getting more gruesome from every picture I see. The ever brilliant. Gold mask. Fear the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Ophnir. The all knowing. One of the uh, characters in the picture, they had the uh, sun symbol. That actually reminds me of someone in Dark Souls actually having similar armor. It might be, I'm not sure if it's connected, but let us hear that. Whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Was that my soul? Across the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Okay, so we got some lore. Any time now. Oh, there we go. Did someone actually die here? Those Tains, yeah, it feels like there's a lot of people died here. There's a lot of PvP going on here. Right when I spawned in the beginning of the game, I feel like people are kind of they are probably uh, doing everything to kill newbies. I kind of feel bad because these are all players that died. Like, look at this. Why is this right here? There's so many blood stains. It's because they're just camping in this area. I probably should get out of here before I do die. Giving no chance to newbies to even like, level up. This is sometimes why playing offline is probably the better choice if you're going to be leveling up, but. It's, not, it's part of the experience. You're going to get killed many times in this game. What does this guy do? Um, Pointing to your death? Come on. I expect dog. Why do people even like... They die in the most... Like the weirdest ways possible. Like you fall over the, you fall over the cliff. In the first five seconds in a game. Maybe just just leave those uh, blood stains. But so far, this game is identical to Dark Souls 3, in my opinion, just based on the movement. 
The rolling is a bit faster. A gorgeous view. You can barely see anything here. Getting started. Well, this guy just died before even getting started. And... When you play these games, you should not trust anyone, especially when you have um, mobs getting out of nowhere. That's how you dodge. Same controls as Dark Souls. Blocking is the same. If I want to parry, you can also do that. Raise the rump. One thing you should also do is always explore. You never know, you might, you actually might get an item. Something incredible. I can't go up there. Not yet, anyway. Um, let's see what we have here as well. I still can't believe how that guy died. Like, not even beginning of the game, just died right there. This feels like a boss battle right here. There is an arena. This is empty. Many people died here. Yep. Grafted Skoyon. I hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly. And there is no... There is no health way to actually regain health here, so... This is definitely more punishing than before. That was quick. Did I just die already? Triggered cutscene. Oh, okay. I was meant to die there then. That was a uh, weird... I can't even try attacking. First, first... For first boss though, that's definitely harder than Dark Souls. I can already tell you that. When I play against Gundir and... Like, he was not too hard. And we have a horse. Guessing he's gonna be our pal. Torrent. Fortune is on his side. Torrent. We found him here, after all. We're gonna have Windrar as well. Like those names sound like freaking programs. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. You're not your name, Zip. Like, I'm not joking, these names, they sound like... They sound like, uh, the programs you have on a computer. Okay, Fast of Crimson Tears. So yeah, this... I felt like something was missing. Let's see what else we have here. Give him knowledge. Um... Oh, there is a cave. I'm like, usually we'll use it to troll. Very creepy in the beginning, but then again, most Souls, Souls games are pretty much like the dark themed. What else we have here? Orbs required. 
Okay, um, let's go. Let's see if I can actually fight here. So far, you fought an overpowered, or at least a pretty powerful uh, boss in the beginning, which we were meant to actually lose against. Not sure if you can actually kill it, but maybe there's a different scenario. Okay, so we start with three. Okay, it's not too bad. In Dark Souls, you would have to find a few, a few more other ones. And these act like bonfires. Not as noticeable, but I can definitely see the resemblance. As time, fasts, memory spells, sword chests. Okay then. Hmm, that's, I feel like that's, uh, that's if you die, if you need to write a message, you have that. And I'm guessing I cannot go through there. Should I? Hey, I don't even have it. What's the point of asking me if I don't even have it? So yeah, this, I really want to avoid using it, Using have, having help in general in a game like this, I feel like it's kind of cheating unless you really have to, but yeah, this, this is definitely not the thing I would want to use. So let's go out, we really have to figure out the controls here. A bit, uh, it's based on a controller, but I'm playing on a keyboard. Is there an invisible wall? Because I know some of these do have invisible walls. Let's break everything here. I can definitely tell that graphics do look way better though. Definitely more enhanced. gonna roll into everything here no stone sword is there anything I can get here Is that on top there? I think I can't even reach it yet. You have to go south and then go to that cliff. Hmm. Should I really try? Sorry, crouch. Oh, I surprisingly did not die. Usually from full damage like that, it would definitely hurt you a lot. Okay, let's see then. Not sure if I lost any health, but I should probably uh, make sure I don't lose anything here. Especially before a boss fight. So we have the first... First one. Kinda reminds me of a hollow. And they are very slow. These enemies are, I mean, they're, they're the newest enemies so far, the first ones in the game, but so far, that's really challenging. I should not say that because I know in the future it's going to be even worse. Uh, 
I feel bad for these guys right here. They're, they barely would do anything to anyone. Even if you're bad at the game, you probably can beat them. Here's the jumping. And right, look, we have the first ever arrow character. Or at least a bow and arrow. Or she has a crossbow. People actually died in this area. Oh, no wonder. They, that looks like a bandit. And look, maybe the first challenging enemy. And I feel like there's probably another one right here waiting. Come on, are you going to use it or no? Come on, really? Talking too much, but not even trying to do anything. Oh, this guy looks challenging. You're just gonna look at me or what? I caused him to fall, but he didn't die. That's surprising. But I'm not gonna fall there because I know I might die from fall damage. Not worth it. Weak fall ahead. Not a good sign because I know this fall will be a powerful foe. Messed it up right here. Mm, I don't trust the bushes here. Fence breaking. Like I should probably use my controller to play the game, but when I have to tweak the uh, controls after. These ones are definitely tankier than the average one. It's multiple hits. Mm, this feels like a trap right here. Oh, I'm just ahead. This is the first boss. I can already feel it. There's no reason for this not to be the first boss. Soldier of Godric. Is this really him? Well, he's not taking any... Uh, He's super slow. Scratch what I said, he's... This is probably much easier than uh, the one in Dark Souls. I did to him at least 50 times when I played it in Dark Souls 3. The tutorial boss. This one, first try. Is there anything here? Nope. Have many people died to him? I'm not even sure how. Let's see what, how they actually died here. Bandit again. People really tried to use a bandit to, uh, to kill him. This guy tried to parry him. It's very funny seeing the amount of people actually tr dying here. Cards counter.
You should never try parrying if you don't know how to. These guys mostly die because of trying to parry. Or because... Look, look at this. Look at this. all of this. This is crazy. A lot of people have died here. Another one trying to parry. You, you cannot just simply parry if you don't even know how to play the game yet. This guy seems to be over leveled. I'm I'm really flabbergasted, or if you know what I mean, I'm just just crazy to think about the amount of people actually trying to parry this boss. So many people died at the first boss, and I took it almost like nothing. I got a salute or a taunt. Um, that's pretty much all of it for this scenario. No, the boss wasn't too bad. It was probably easy for me because I already played a Dark Souls game, so I'm really used to the, uh, the combat. Although I do feel like the war is a bit different. It's definitely more, uh, how would I say it? It's quicker, quicker animation. Gotta get used to that. Okay, so everything here I already passed. So far, what do you think about the game? It's pretty cool. Didn't play enough to, uh, to f like have the feel of it, but I feel like it's still very good. Like I actually like it. it does have a few things that are different about it, but that's it's good as it's a bit different. In Dark Souls, if you have Dark Souls in this the same game, like it would be too boring. I can't go here yet. And I still don't have the stone sword. Oh, it's going up. But I just completely messed it up. I'm gonna have to wait for this one then. Uh, what do I do now? Back, I have to go back. Oh, right here. There's a lever. I'm like, for a second, I'm like, I cannot go back up. But I, one thing I can definitely say though, the faces in this game compared to Dark Souls 3 is way better. The ones in Dark Souls 3, looks, they don't even look human. Most of them don't even look human. Gotta be careful. Always be cautious of where you go. Way brighter than the uh, Dark Souls I know. This is exact, exactly the opposite of what I would expect. Very vibrant. Those look like giant, I don't know, like seagulls? Oh, eagles. I feel like I should even attack them. And if they don't attack me, why should I attack them? Maybe in the future. Kangaroos? They look like them. Okay, so a bunch of uh, animals here. No true enemies so far. How did this person die? Another one pointing to his death. People really should be careful. That's a cool view right here. This is beautiful. Aside from this giant tree right here, which is probably the uh, definition of the Elden Ring. Also, the music. Definitely far above than what I thought. What the heck is this? Golden Ruin. 
There's a bunch of these here. So we have the first enemy right here, and I feel like I should not encounter them. But this is dark, this is pretty much a souls game. So I have to counter them first thing. And I'm guessing that's the first boss. Very slow, come on. I mean, very tanky as well. I won't be able to do much against a person like this. I feel like I am kind of under level. I'm so poke. Wait, when I said that, that person's pissed. I feel like I am under leveled. Just because the amount of damage I do to this uh, boss right here. Then I have to get out. Well, I'm dead. I am kind of under leveled, though, that's for sure. Whoever this, uh, whatever this creature is or boss, is randomly standing right there. And I completely forgot to uh, save all the way from the back, so I have to go all the way through here. It's gonna tell me all the stuff here. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to do all of this again? Seems like it. Yep, it's the same. Well, oh, actually, no. I was. I don't think. Was I here? Oh, it was here. The same guy. One thing for sure, most of the enemies here have more telegraphed uh, movements, so it's much easier to read them. The thing is, I, w I feel like I felt like I was way under leveled when I fought that guy. I'm gonna skip all of this. Is this guy still here? Well, I defeated him. So that was pretty much just a warm up. The real boss is the one I fought and I was definitely not prepared for it. But uh improve maybe the way of my controls here, first of all. Go all the way here. Asks. Um I should probably not have any of these here because I don't even use any type of magic or spells. But let's go out and uh, find another area I can actually have a spawn in. What the heck is that? So oh, it's just, just light. I'm like, I thought there was like an object right in front of me. What is that one? So there are multiple enemies, the enemy over there, which I should probably stay away for a bit of time until I actually get better, maybe better armor or equipment, whoever this person is. Oh, come to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Of course you have no shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, 
you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength, you are fated. It... Should I kill this person? I, I feel like I should not even kill any NPC yet. If they're crucial to the story, not a good idea. And if, since I don't, don't even have a maiden yet, that character is going to be pretty hard for me to actually kill. I have no idea if I should just kill that or just go here. If there's a dragon. I should probably start off killing more simpler enemies. I'm gonna go around that boss because I feel like I'm not properly leveled yet. There's multiple of them, that's not a good idea. Definitely not a good idea. If that was only one, maybe I can take them out, but not when I'm like this. You know what? Screw it. Gotta beat at least this boss. Very slow, so I can probably use the uh, gap advantage here. I'm doing too bad. Come on, I know you go. Attacks are very telegraphed. Although I have to get close enough to hit this NPC. Keep running away. Of course, there's those weird bashing. Probably going behind the boss is probably his weak spot. Well, it did take almost half the uh, health here. But this is pretty challenging. For a first boss. Also because I'm pretty under level, like I'm I just started the game at level seven. Gonna try maybe going somewhere else and see if there's anything else I can do. But yeah, so far just not well equipped for this one. Oh, and there's the map here I can see. I feel like I have to go Head of it and just go around the boss.
So let's see what I can do here. That boss is just sitting around there. I'm gonna fall here. I'm gonna die before I even start the game. Okay, so I could summon someone here, but I just don't want to get a help. That's the entire point of it. See what I can get from these ones. I'm gonna stay away from that. Didn't notice me yet, so at least I'm fine with that. Oh, finally! And why is there someone looking like, uh, missing a like Santa Claus over there? I'll be sitting here because I know I might die by that boss again. But at least now I have shortcuts. So I need another stone. Definitely should upgrade that at least so I have enough damage to uh, face that other one right there. You're tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. Yeah, let's see what this person has. I can't really purchase anything yet, but a decent armor would be good. Telescope. Yeah, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, similar to one, the one I actually have. So I can't do much here yet, but I found a merchant. Mm, I feel like he's definitely not alone, but I gotta at least fight someone here. Well, at least I can take this guy out. There's a bunch of them. Well, they're very easy. These are good beginner uh, mobs. At least I can take them out. Let's see if I can just... Yeah, he's pretty much a goner. So many of them here. Now that's something you couldn't actually do in Dark Souls. Getting actual fruit and food. Anyone else? Before another giant boss just shows up out of nowhere. I would not be surprised. But yeah, this place... I can definitely uh, say this game is far bigger. Just this map alone. Oh, uh, is this supposed to be a boss? Because a bunch of people died here. Are you kidding? I'm not sure how people die from this one. The spear usually in most soul games are very slow. Yeah, 
Yep, I knew there was gonna be one of these guys just calling for his comrades. Look at all we're coming. I'm just gonna do one of them and attack one each one. That's their leader most likely. Try, you're dead. Well, actually, he's probably the leader, so he's the tankiest one. Go now, we have a fair fight. Hopefully, that's your leader. I don't even need to dodge them yet. They're not doing enough damage for that. I do have enough... Uh Definitely enough ruins now to actually get some items. Is there anyone else here? Bunch more of these guys here. Just one of them. Uh, someone with a horse. I feel like I should not be there yet. I'm sure you can probably get to into an area you're not supposed to very early in the game and die quite a lot. Oh look, a wolf. Never liked them in the Soul games. Dark Souls 3, they were pretty much annoying. Either dogs or the wolves. carried away there. I'm sure. Let's see what else we have here? Yeah, that looks like another boss. Or maybe not. Nope. I should probably not. Kind of out of my league here. Got a zigzag. I think I'm a bit too far from him now. Not sure where he's going. Maybe if I had all my. Uh... Oh, there's a place right here. 
Oh no, I thought I can actually set my pace here. So far though, enemies, I can definitely say that enemies are challenging. Even if you're, if you play the previous Soul games, definitely there is a difference. And not the place I would want to be in right now. Yep, not the best place to be in. Minity fighting that character in the beginning of the game? Not a good idea. So you can actually spawn in different areas without the... Uh... Oh, I see. So yeah, I did lose pretty much all the ruins. Kind of sucks, but at the same time, at the same time, that's how you play your Souls games. You die, you repeat, you prove, and that's usually how you get better. Gotta get to that area where I died. Right there, I can see it. I'm definitely not gonna go in there until I'm actually prepared because I'm definitely not even close to finding anything too crazy. And I had this right there. These are kind of, they're harder to notice. If I knew it was right here, I would have actually had it right there. Like, I would have went there already. Oh, cutscene. Is that the maiden? Because I'm really looking for her. Greetings. Traveler from beyond the fog I am Melina yeah, that's probably her I offer you an accord Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Okay, so finally I can level up. Shall I turn your runes? Let my hand share them with me. Your thoughts. Okay, so let's see what I can do here. The principles you would follow. Endurance, strength. 
Let's see what each one does here. I feel like I should increase. Bigger is always important in the game. You gotta help, have as much help as possible. Well, guys, that'll be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And this game looks very promising. Just gotta know how to to actually where to go, and hopefully, I know I should not I should avoid that place until I get to a further level. I'm sure the uh, the people that really want the challenge will probably go here first. Look at this guy waiting there. He's just waiting there, menacingly, just standing there, waiting for all the new characters or new people, like pretty much like how I was recently, to get in there and die immediately. I didn't even expect this guy to have a range, like a, pretty much like a sonic, sonic sound attack, from the looks of it. Alright guys, that'll be another video, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>